Welcome back to WPTrainingVideos.com. Of course, my name is Mercer. In this module, which is security and maintenance, I wanted to create a video about upgrading to WordPress 3.3. Now, this is specifically a major upgrade. You might recall that WordPress 3.2 recently came out, and back before that, there was WordPress 3.1. So whenever you see an upgrade that goes 3.1, 3.2, or 3.3 in this case, it's considered a major upgrade. Now, whenever you've got a major upgrade, you wanna take a few extra precautions before you hit that update button. So let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard. And what I'm gonna do here is actually try to record the process of me upgrading WP training videos to WordPress 3.3. Now, before I jump in here, it's important to realize that I have not upgraded for the last three weeks. At this recording, as of this recording, WordPress 3.3 has been around for about three weeks and I haven't touched it. I've left it alone. I haven't upgraded anything. I did this for two reasons. One is because it's a major upgrade and I just have a rule that when WordPress comes out with a major upgrade, I'd much rather everybody else go out and upgrade before me and realize all the bugs and hopefully they'll fix everything in the next few weeks and then I can upgrade. The second reason that I didn't take this upgrade right away is because, of course, I wanted to make this video for you. And uh, hopefully by now, the different plugins and updates have all been completed. So when I go through and do this, I will just show you how to upgrade and not how to go back and fix an upgrade that didn't work. So let's try this, and, and I'm crossing my fingers here. Otherwise, it's going to be a much longer video that I'm going to have to edit. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard, and we'll take a look. In a dashboard, of course, you're probably familiar with this little message here. This little WordPress 3.3 is available. Please update now. And it's kind of scary sometimes because you see this stuff and you kind of go, man, like I've got to upgrade. But that's not exactly the case as we've already discussed. WordPress 3.3 is a major upgrade. If it said WordPress 3.3.1 or 3.3.2, those are tiny little security maintenance releases, not a big deal. In fact, you can see right here is a perfect example of that. WordPress 3.3.1 is a security maintenance release. So that's a tiny upgrade. If you had already upgraded to WordPress 3.3, and then you can upgrade to this one with very little problem. You don't have to go through all this fancy stuff I'm about to go through now. I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of here for just a second. There are two things that can go terribly wrong when you upgrade a WordPress installation, when you do a major upgrade like we're about to do here. The first is that something conflicts with the current theme that you're using. And the second is that something conflicts with a plugin that you're currently using. So themes and plugins are the two things that you wanna check. Now for WP training videos, we use a theme called Optimize Press. Optimize Press works perfectly with WordPress 3.3. I've had no issues. And in fact, I actually use that theme on other sites that do use WordPress 3.3. So that's how I personally know that Optimize Press doesn't have any issues. However, if it was another theme, or if I wasn't using Optimize Press, I'd sort of ask around, maybe to some of the forums, jumping the Optimize Press support forum, or visit their Facebook page, and, and find out if that theme has any issues, or if people are talking about it. You can even do a Google search and pop up something if um, it was something you wanted to check out, maybe you're using a different theme. Um, that's how you can kind of research that. So I know the theme won't have any conflicts, so I'm not really gonna have to worry about that. If it did have conflicts, what will happen is the developers will come through, they'll fix them, and they'll send out an update, which it's been about three weeks. That gives them plenty of time to make their customers happy and send out those updates. And if that was a thing, it would have already come through. So now I know my theme should have no conflicts. So we're going to put that aside. The next thing that can have conflicts are the plugins. So let's jump into the dashboard. I'm going to show you how to handle this sort of step-by-step -step with the plugins. We're going to click on our plugins here. And you can see all of our plugins. Okay. Now, the very first thing that I want to talk to you about is first, you want to make sure you've got the most updated themes and the most updated plugins. So we would come in here normally, you'd click on updates. Right now, I just know it's the WordPress update. But uh, a couple of days ago and over the last few weeks, there have been other updates. So right now, all of my plugins are up to date, all of my themes are up to date. So these should be the most recent versions of everything I'm going to need. If you want to check again, of course, you can just check again. But this was done you know, just a little while ago. So we're, we're good to go as far as this goes, or we should be. So we're going to jump back into the plugins here. Now that I know I have the most recent version of all the plugins that I'm currently using, 
So let's take a look at these various plugins. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and deactivate anything that isn't absolutely necessary to the functioning of this site. In other words, something that the site can live without while I update. Um, so right now it'll be this, this, that, that. I'm going to take these down for just a little bit. Contact form I actually use, so I'm going to keep that alive. And I'm going to keep Digital Access Pass alive, which is the membership site itself. Uh, this is our fan page, so I'm going to keep that going. I am. This is FeedBurner. This manages our RSS feeds, so I'm going to keep that going. And a lot of this too is I'm looking at this going. Okay, well, FeedBurner is owned by Google. Google's normally on top of stuff, so I'm going to keep that going. Um, the docking better. I'm going to take that down for a little bit. Site maps. I'm going to keep up. Um, intense debate manages our comments, so I'm going to keep that going. Jetpack is a WordPress um, so I, uh, item, so I know that that's going to work. Um, let's see, we'll take out Plus Locker for a little bit. Poll Daddy is also from WordPress or automatic. You can see that here, so I know that that's going to be functioning just fine. Uh, I'm going to take down Press Backup for now, and I'm also going to take out our cache. And that should be about it. So that is pretty much all my non essential, at least in my opinion, all my non essential plugins. So that means that this site can live without the plugins for the next five minutes or so. So I'm going to go through here and do the bulk actions, deactivate, and apply those settings. Okay, so you can see I now have 29 plugins total. There's only nine that are currently active. So I want to see what those are. Just make sure that I didn't miss anything, which is contact form seven. Uh, I've got digital access pass, the fan page, uh, the RSS feeds, site maps, managing the comments, and then um, Jetpack and Poll Daddy. So that's pretty much about it. I'm personally betting here that these plugins aren't going to have any sort of conflicts with WordPress 3.3. But again, I'm crossing my fingers. I mean, they, they might, and I'll have to go back and fix it. Um, incidentally, one thing I should have mentioned way in the beginning, and I apologize for not doing that, I've already backed up this site. So I've got a current version of the WordPress database, and I have a current version of the WordPress content folder. So if something horrible goes wrong, I can erase everything and back it up with the old version so that I can start over and try it again. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into updates. And this is where I'm gonna cross my fingers. So you can see already, here we've got download 3.3.1. So it's automatically gonna to download to the most recent version. I'm going ahead and click update now, and we're gonna cross our fingers and hope this is going to be pretty much the end of the video and <laughs> that everything works really well. Okay, so that was successful. Okay, so there we go. So now this is a brand new first look at WordPress 3.3.1. And so far, so good. So now that we've got the newest version of WordPress updated onto WPTrainingVideos.com, I'm going to go through and just, just sort of check the site while all those plugins are still deactivated, just to make sure that everything that's supposed to be working is working. So right now, I'll know if there is a problem that I know it's not those plugins, it's one of the remaining plugins or even possibly the theme. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. Okay, so here is our current theme. I don't have my ads right here, but that's okay because uh, I shouldn't, I just disconnected that plugin. Everything else looks like it's coming up all right so far. I'm gonna click on one of the blog posts just to make sure that's popping up okay. This particular post, by the way, was a warning I put out uh, to not jump the gun on major upgrades. So just a little FYI there, that looks like everything's kind of coming in as is. Now you can see down here, things are loading just a little bit slowly. That's because that caching plugin is disconnected. Um, things load a lot faster when you have a caching plugin. All right, so we're gonna look like everything's going well there. I'm gonna check the members login real quick. And I'm just checking out the members area here. It looks like everything, besides running a little bit slowly, which is normal without that caching plugin, 
because everything's rebuilding itself here. But other than that, everything looks like it's working reasonably well. So I am assuming we are good to go and that all the current plugins that I have set up are going to work just fine. So now let's go ahead and flip back into our dashboard. The plan here is to go back and actually activate each one of those particular plugins just to make sure we're going to activate one, go through test, make sure it looks fine, activate the next, activate the next. Um, we might activate two or three at a time if I, if I think it's uh, worthy. But again, just one or two plugins at a time, just make sure things are still working and then we'll activate more. That way, if there is a conflict, we'll know exactly what the problem plugin is and we can go and pull it back out. Okay, so now I've gone through and I've activated all the plugins that I want to reactivate and I've adjusted all the fun settings and all that fun stuff. And it looks like everything's functioning the way that it's supposed to. So at this point, I'm going to do one final test, which is to log out of my WordPress site and then log back in through the admin panel. Now, I'm not expecting any challenges with this because the back end of WordPress has been working just fine. The admin panel, the dashboard, installing plugins, activating plugins, everything seems to be going great in the back end. Everything looks great on the front end. The membership site still works, which is always good. Uh, so at this point, I should just be able to log out and then log back in again, just to make sure that there's no back end issues. Now, the way that I'm going to test this is by using an incognito window. So I'm going to jump in. I use Chrome here. So we're going to open up a new incognito window. And I'm going to log into my admin panel. Now, I'm using an incognito window, or uh, if you're using Internet Explorer, it might be called private mode or something like that. But I'm using that mode because it's kind of convincing the WordPress site that it's a separate, completely separate computer that's trying to access it. So if for whatever reason the back end doesn't work and I can't get logged in on this new one that I'm doing, I still have the original one open. I can still adjust stuff. So there's a separation there. I hope that makes sense on, on what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and try to log in here. Okay. And it looks like we're good. So Right now, I can see the, the back end, my dashboard. You can see up here, I'm using incognito mode. So you can tell that uh, you know WordPress thinks it's a different computer logging in. I have no issues. I can get around the back end. I can click around, no problem. I can see all my pages. So at this point, I'm pretty much assuming that I can go through, visit the site from here. Um, everything seems to be working. The only thing I need to add back are the little ads, which I have the copies for. So I'm not really going to worry too much about those. But everything else is back up and running. I'm going to go ahead and log back in here just to make sure that the members area is still good to go or else you're never going to see this video. Welcome to WPTrainingVideos.com. Okay, so there's the nice little helpful WP Training Videos video. So it looks like we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and log out of this one. And we have officially updated WP training videos to the most recent version of WordPress, which as of this recording is, as you just saw, version 3.3.1 now. So uh, hopefully that will give you some advice on making a next major upgrade if you've already done 3.3 or if you have not yet done 3.3 because you're just a little bit scared of what might happen. There's how you can do it sort of in a step by step. Uh, fashion. And again, maybe I was a little conservative on some of the plugins. Um, you might have to go through and do some of the settings again, just like I will on this add squares plugin that I'm currently using, but far simpler to do that than it is to have something go ridiculously wrong, have to jump into your backup and then back up everything or uninstall plugin because there's a conflict. Thanks again for watching WPTrainingVideos.com. My name is Mercer and please continue to help us spread the word on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and LinkedIn. Thanks again for being a member. I'll see you on the next video.